as well as our interesting interview with uh, Sanjeev Verma from Irvana, we're uh, now going to look at some, uh, some applications and use cases that Irvana have put together for Fem to Sell. This is uh, Dave Nowicki from um, Irvana. Dave, thanks for joining us. Um, what have you got to show us here? Great, so what we have to show you today really are femtocell applications in a real life environment. So as you can see, I'm gonna bring on first my daughters here. Um, this is Samantha, and this here is Nicole. So my daughters, in fact, have been out and about today enjoying their mobile life in London, and they're gonna help with the demonstration. Um, now granted, my daughters here, they're, they're smaller than most daughters, um, however, like all teenage daughters, they're absolutely glued to their mobile phone. So as it turns out, um, as they entered into the, uh, the hubbub zone here, the Irvana Hubbub Femtocell, which is located right here, um, has effectively picked up their presence. And so what you can see, if you look at the activity monitor right here, you can see that Nicole and Samantha have been detected um, by the, the hub of femtocell. And so what's happened as they were detected is I have things programmed so that a text will be sent. I'm at work right now, so my daughters have arrived home safely, and that text is now being sent. And we can also send that to whomever we need to send it to that needs to know that they've come home safely. So you can see here that uh, I've received this text that Nicole uh, is home and also Samantha's home. So you can see that on my iPhone here, I got that text successfully, okay? The next thing that's happened as a result of uh, Samantha and Nicole coming home is that they've been given access to the home internet connection. So now they're able to use the home internet facility directly. In addition to that, um, they've also been given access to all the digital services here in the home. And what that means is that they'll have a direct connection with the digital services. What that means is that the particular traffic that will be traveling from the handset to the devices won't go over the operator network. It'll actually stay here contained in the room. That's what we call local breakout technology. So what you can see as an example of that is that when they came into the room here, we in fact see that the pictures that were on their phone out as they were out and about got stored on this photo frame. So this is a very large photo frame for purposes of the demonstration. But what you can see is they were out and about today, Trafalgar Square on the Lions, they were shopping at Selfridges, they were having quite a day out and about. The nice thing is that when they get home, as soon as they get home, those photos are immediately uploaded here and they start to display without Samantha and Nicole needing to do anything at all. Now we could have just as easily had those pictures sent to that printer there, or we could have done it to a network server. We could have also uploaded this to a social networking site. We could have downloaded podcasts, a bunch of things you can do with this local breakout technology. Now, we have a new character in town. This here is actually Chuck. This is Chuck the boyfriend. And Chuck the boyfriend is not supposed to be here. Uh, but in fact, Chuck has made an entrance and Samantha's boyfriend, Chuck, is now in the room, and it turns out that I'm not home and I'm not pleased. So effectively, I'm, as you might imagine, a protective father, and I have things programmed so that the hubbub femtocell uh, will effectively send a text uh, when Chuck is home. Because I have an agreement with Samantha that she can't have her boyfriend over if I'm not there. Um, so in order to keep, make sure she keeps that agreement, we're gonna have this text sent. So in fact, I've got the text, um, so you can see that it says Samantha's boyfriend in the house. We've got the boyfriend buster alert. So you can see that here on my iPhone. In addition, um, you can see that uh, Chuck has also come home. So we've got Chuck that's also come home as well. Um, and so now I know that he's there. So what I could do is I could send a text to the femtocell and that text would go to all the kids and it would basically say to the kids, hey, boyfriend rule you know you're not supposed to be doing this um, but you know what I'm a little bit busy here at work as you can see and so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna leave it alone for the moment and I'm not gonna touch it that was quite a loud entrance so effectively what we've got here is uh, some some party goers and I'm starting to get a little bit concerned because we got a gathering going on here this is a party that's starting in my house 
and not something that I necessarily want to be happening. Um, so the interesting thing is what Hubbub has done is something additional here. The Hubbub is actually now telling me all the phones of people that are in the house and it's telling me that I've got a party alert and the text that I've received now says there's a party going on there's five people in your house uh, and it tells me exactly the names of the people as well so as it turns out now I know the names of the people that are in my house I'm away from work I'm a little bit upset because as you can see uh, some of these people are troublemakers um, so I'm a little bit concerned about what may be going on in my house so if you don't mind I need to get home and break up the party so if we could move over here a little bit so I can actually break up the party and as you'll see the hubbub will also record the breakup of the party as it recorded the start of the party so the first one here gotta get rid of this troublemaker alright throw that troublemaker out of here second troublemaker okay now gone and finally I'm very very much enjoying getting rid of Chuck the boyfriend um, so there you go so we've got now rid of uh, the party we're back to Samantha and Nicole so I think that what you can see this was just an example of showing you how somebody can take their mobile life, all those pictures and so forth, bring it home, have it all seamlessly happen as well, and how I can also be alerted to what's going on in my house um, as well. So as you saw, Samantha and Nicole in this demonstration never had to plug in a cable. They never had to push a button. Uh, they never had to configure a PC, obviously. There was no, nothing that they needed to do. It was just a matter of entering the house and leaving the house. The messages were sent, and they had access to all the digital services in a very seamless manner. So thank you very much. I hope you see that that shows some of the great things that can happen through FemtoCell services. That's great. Just a quick question. The, the, uh, the, the recognition of the people coming in, you have to re they have to be registered on the Hubbub, though, don't they? Yes, the idea is, you know, they're inviting their friends over for a party, right? So the idea is that these kids have already been to the house before, and I've got some idea of who they are and so forth. So they've already been here. The Hubbub's already noticed them. It knows who they are. It can register them. But you're exactly right. Let's say we didn't know who it was. There's different actions you could take based on that. Some operators already have looked at what's called an intruder alert and that would mean effectively I don't know whose phone this is and maybe it's above a very significant power level and I could take some action based on the fact that there's an intruder in my house right that's something that may work in certain markets probably doesn't work in some other markets but you're exactly right in this case we were um, counting on the fact that effectively uh, that these kids have been over to the house before and we know who they are okay thank you thank you very much